backyard. Hundreds of workers in the local cannabis industry could soon be out of work. Growers blame the job loss on county officials changing their minds. KSBY's Melissa Newman joins us live in the newsroom. Melissa, why are they blaming supervisors? Richard and Karina, county supervisors had previously allowed cannabis operators to be cultivating their crops while they awaited their permits to be approved. But recently they decided that cannabis cultivators had to wait until they made it all the way through the permitting process to continue their grows. A nail-biting morning at the San Luis Obispo County Board of Supervisors Tuesday as dozens of workers in the local cannabis industry pleaded to keep their jobs. As a labor contractor, I, I struggle as well as my employees to find a well-paid, stable job. And by you guys canceling, that, that means that we will be losing our jobs that we've found. This comes after the Board of Supervisors decided to end a resolution that allowed cannabis operators to cultivate while their permits are being processed. Those in the industry say this ruling was unfair because the county's process for approving the permits is a lengthy one. Just to give you an example, uh, one of the pro projects that is not approved yet is currently still in the process. We received a letter from the county saying it was a complete application. They were going to begin processing it in January of 2019. We're almost here a year later and we still don't have a hearing date. In the meeting Tuesday, cannabis advocates asked county supervisors to put this item back on their agenda, but not all county supervisors are on board with revisiting their decision. Twice we've extended this ordinance by unanimous consent by the board. We've extended it twice at Christmas. We heard the same thing, you know, last time. It's about jobs, it's about jobs. I get it, I want everybody to be employed. But people have to get into compliance eventually at some point. We can't just keep every year giving another year. We don't do it in any other industry in this county. Those in the industry fear the losing of these jobs will cause a ripple effect in the local economy. Because we hire locally, so the money that we're paying our employees recirculates into local businesses like grocery stores and you know other shops. Cannabis advocates were successful in getting this item on an upcoming Board of Supervisors agenda. That meeting is scheduled for January 14th. In the newsroom, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. All right, Melissa, thank you. Cannabis businesses like the Natural Healing Center say if the supervisors decide to continue with ending the resolution, they'd have to lay off about 30 employees.